Welcome to Village in Motion. It is Monday, November the 5th, and folks, it is wet outside, so stay inside and watch Channel 6 this morning. We're going to be talking initially with <clears throat> Jason from Dining Services about all those new things that are happening in Dining Services. And Jason, we're so glad to have you with us. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we do have a lot of things going on in the month of November uh, and some things uh, that we didn't plan for the month of November. So I'll probably start with that first. So if you've been to the dining rooms in the past couple of days, you've probably seen it doesn't look like it typically does. Right. Um, so we did have some outbreaks of the, the flu and GI here on campus. Uh, those numbers are, are small, mm -hmm. but um, we really want to make sure that we're making all our safety precautions because we want to make sure that we can get past this phase where we have no cases on campus where we can go back to normal dining services. And we want to be able to eat uh, without uh, plastic and everything, especially Correct. for the 20th anniversary. Correct. <laughs> that, that would be one of those things. So with that being said, uh, just a, a reminder to everyone, please wash hands, you know, coming in, going out. We do have hand sanitizers at all of our facilities, mm -hmm. so make sure in, out, uh, and then we're working with the staff. We've bought um, a, a stronger chemical than we normally use, which will actually kill a norovirus oh, and things good. of that nature. So uh, housekeeping, uh, our GS and dining services have been really, uh, just with everyone, uh, really ramping up to make sure that we're, we're trying to make sure that everyone's safe, but we can't wash your hands for you. you uh, so we recommend, uh, please make sure that you're doing that. Um, another thing that we have going on uh, starting today, and it'll be going on till Friday the 16th, we have our Thanksgiving uh, bake sale that'll be going on. You can uh, look, see what items we have in the stores mm -hmm. for purchase. Uh, they're very nice, so if you're going somewhere for Thanksgiving, it's nice to bring something with you, and this is a nice local baker that we use, uh, as well as if you're having people over, it's nice to have those offerings. So those will be offered through the stores, or will there be a special uh, setup for those? So you would go in and actually go over the list in pre-order, oh. and then there's a pickup uh, right before Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we have today, actually uh, very soon at 1030, we have our dining services focus group that'll be in the theater. Hmm. So please come out for that. After uh, they watch Village in Motion. After they watch Village in Motion. So like as soon as this segment's over with, head down <laughs> to the theater, because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, tomorrow, um, we're actually, um, we're calling it our culinary favorites, but it's actually in conjunction with the uh, SAF committee. Mm. Uh, so that I know they'll be out in the lobbies kind of right. explaining what the, the Staff Appreciation Fund is, uh, taking donations, and what they asked us to do was kind of what we had done in the summer, which is our, we did our Culinarians Day, where we right. actually let our, our line level staff kind of write the menu for the day. And that's either dishes that are their favorites or something that's close to their heart. Uh, and our staff love it. Uh, it's, a, it's a time for some of our, our you know, uh, young men and, and ladies who are in there every day cooking, preparing food right. to kind of get a little choice of what's on the menu. Uh, and so we're really looking forward to it. So please make sure you come out on Tuesday for dinner and whatever your favorite venue is and find out what some of the people who cook your food every day of what their favorite foods are and what means a lot to them. Because we won't find out until we get to the dining venue, correct? Uh, correct. It'll be posted there. Um, you can ask uh, if you want tonight. Uh, they'll have copies of that menu for you. Oh, okay. The only one that's posted ahead of time because it's on the weekly menu is Jefferson. Okay. Um, but you won't find all the information of who wrote what until right. you, you come to the, the restaurant, but you'll know the menu items. Okay. So that'll be there on Wednesday the 7th um, to celebrate in Douala. We'll have a, a special dish in all the dining rooms. So please come out uh, and enjoy that. Um, we will uh, be honoring our veterans on the 11th. Uh, so uh, for all those who served, uh, thank you, and uh, it should be a good time. Um, we have our birthday cakes on the 14th, uh, and then um, I'm going to skip to Thanksgiving because I think most people want to talk about Night on the Town. There you go. So we do have Thanksgiving <laughs> uh, on the 22nd. We will have um, special dining room hours and special hours there. Um, so uh, please come out. It should be a great time. Uh, we look forward to it. Um, and then Night on the Town, which mm -hmm. is going yes. to be uh, Saturday the 17th, which is the, the 20th anniversary of Greenspring. And uh, a couple things that I want to talk about that is, one, if you have not already received it, you should be receiving it either today or tomorrow. And it's a formal invitation to Night on and the Town. that'll be in our cubbies. That'll be in your cubby. Now, what I do tell people is it is a white envelope that is plain. 
So please don't disregard it. Don't throw it away. Don't think it was just a piece of paper because it's an envelope that actually has the formal invitation, but we also have frequently asked questions. And so when uh, a lot of uh, this process of creating Nine on the Town was going on, a lot of questions were coming up um, from some staff members and some residents. And so we kind of addressed those ahead of time to answer a lot of those questions. Mm -hmm. um, really Nine on the Town is gonna be a great celebration. Uh, we're gonna have entertainment in every venue. Uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, included in your uh, flex meal will be beer and wine. Uh, we're going to have a signature cocktail at every venue. Um, something different for us is that this is a, you can travel. Um, so you can go to one venue and try, I see that. So you can go to one venue um, and try all the food there and then go to another venue and try that food. That's an option if you want. Um, but because of uh, kind of, I think the, the look you just gave me, some people are not going to want to do that, and we we do understand that. Well, my concern is, and many people's concern is, if you travel from one venue to the other, and we do not have reservations, I understand for that. Correct. Venue, and by the time you get to the other venue, we've only got a three-hour window, right? Th yes. Uh, you know, and then you got to wait to get in at the other venue. Well, and that's where with the no reservation is some people, you know, we, we plan are going to be mobile and be going to different venues. Uh, some people might just go in and do a tasting. We're going to have, a, besides our normal dining room tables, we will have cocktail tables and high top tables for those who want to use that as, as an option. Um, but one of the things too, uh, and then I do recommend this to people, you as an individual know what kind of dining experience you like and you want. This is not uh, something we do often and this is the first time to my knowledge that we've really done something to this level and we'll see how that goes but I think the, the one thing I do tell people is you know some people want to sit and have a nice quiet meal Saturday night the 17th would not be the time to go out to dinner I would highly recommend going to lunch um, and then maybe going around and seeing the entertainment later that night um, if you just want to check that out um, when you say the entertainment is the entertainment going to be in the dining rooms or is the entertainment going to be out in the lobbies? Um, it depends on the venue and spacing. Uh, we are trying to have most of the entertainment in the lobby space. Um, depending on the configurations of the room, that's hard because one of the things that we really don't want to do is we don't want to lose any seating because of the amount of people we anticipate coming because out. Because you're going to lose seating if you have high tops in there. Well, some of the high tops are going to be in the lobby areas. Um, okay. And that's, yeah, we weren't taking dining seats out to put high tops in, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. We were just increasing more of our volume oh, okay. out in the lobby so space. So we're, we're going to expand mm -hmm. out to the lobbies. Yeah. Uh, and are you going to be able to take food out then of the dining room and eat out in the lobby? Yes, uh, in the lobby. Uh, and with that, the lobbies actually will have our raw bars, our um, uh, charcuterie, um, we'll have past appetizers out there. Um, so there is something, if there is somewhat of a wait for a table that you can enjoy. Um, and also the entertainment and then the decorations are going to be great. We're also going to have a uh, photo booth, so if you want to get your photo taken. It's an overall celebration and we want everyone to come out and enjoy because 20 years is a, a remarkable feat. Okay. Entertainment. Uh, what kind of entertainment? Are we All gonna? different types. All different um, types. So with that, um, we have a, a band playing probably more like American rock and roll in one venue. We have a venue that will be playing kind of more Frank Sinatra style. Uh, in our Garden Ridge, we're going to have a traveling violinist and strings going around. Uh, there's a lot of different entertainment choices, um, just as each venue will kind of have a, a different theme, if you will. And what will the themes be? What, so the, if the you, you go to Woodland Skies, um, you're going to experience kind of a European feel uh, to the decor and menu, uh, looking more at that French, uh, you know, Italian, uh, German influence. When you go to uh, Jefferson, um, we're going to have more of an African, Asian, uh, fusion of things going on there um, and then when you go over to um, Fireside uh, we went more with the North and South Americas uh, for their their menus uh, some really neat things that they'll be doing over there and then Garden Ridge um, we overall um, kind of just picked London uh, somehow they they were out to the mix and so that was kind of their theme that they're going with uh, so we're really looking forward to that um, like I said a lot of that information will be in your cubbies if you haven't already received it uh, you'll receive it in the next day or two it'll be the invitation and also the frequently asked questions and obviously you can always contact us at dining services okay. for additional questions you might uh, have so 12 days from today we'll have the 
17th anniversary. Yes. Uh, and uh, hope everybody enjoys it. Huh? I, I think I think it's going to be a great time. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and you know, we're, 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 I think we're going to have a great time, and, and it's going to be. It's going to be something. Uh, I've seen the, the sketches for the decorations, and I think it's going to be a beautiful time. All right. Jason, thank you so very much. Thank Glad you. Glad you came and joined us this morning. And All right. uh, keep up the good work in dining services. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It. All right. Take care. Take care.